Out of all the things I still need for my apartment, I was missing a dining area the most. I decided to go with the classic form factor of a diner booth and started by making the benches. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know that I love bridges. Especially those old industrial bridges. And that is what inspired this design. Now, I'm lucky enough to work in Laura's workshop, but really all I needed to make the frames for these were a MIG welder and an angle grinder. And a whole lot of patience. I used two centimeter square tubing. Each length is six meters long, so they were a little bit tricky to handle. But being able to work outside in the sunshine made that a whole lot easier. I had sketched out the design beforehand, including the main measurements. But everything else I figured out as I went. I laid out the pieces as I went so I could keep track of what I'd cut already. Of course I made several mistakes along the way, mostly because I kept forgetting to take the dimensions of the steel or the wooden seat into account. But thankfully that was mostly just easy to fix by chopping off another 2 centimeters. Once the main vertical and horizontal pieces were cut, it was time to start welding. The tubing is stainless steel, but I didn't have a stainless steel filler wire for the MIG welder. I briefly considered using TIG welding, but my experience with that is way too limited to try tackling a project like this. So I just carried on with the normal filler wire in the MIG. It'll make the welds more susceptible to corrosion, but I plan on painting it anyway, so it should be fine. Laura gave me a heads up that stainless steel can bend quite a bit when welding, so initially I only tacked the pieces together to keep the bending to a minimum. Once all the cross pieces were attached, I came back and finished up all the welds. The welding magnets don't stick to stainless steel, but I used them anyway to get the right angles. For the angled pieces, I cut a rough length and then simply laid it on top of the frame to draw the angles and the length I needed. Theoretically, I could have done the math, but since the frame will deform during the welding, this is a safer bet. And even if I did know the exact angle, I'll still be chopping it off with an angle grinder, so it would never be that precise anyway. It was a bit of a puzzle to cut all the angle pieces, and I needed to make lots of adjustments. Thankfully, I can fill up relatively large gaps with the welder, so I don't need an exact fit. This was a little bit of a learning process though, and I ended up burning through the material quite a few times. But when that happened, I just let it cool and tried again. And by the end, it hardly ever happened anymore. That's the benefit of a lot of practice. The nice thing about welding is that no matter how ugly your welds are, you can grind them back and end up with a smooth piece of metal. It's not necessarily fun to do that, but it'll give you the result you want. And it's a great motivator to take your time with the welds and try to do them properly. Sometimes I'd still find that the weld didn't connect the pieces properly after grinding it back. But then I could just give it another go, so it wasn't really a problem. Most of the tubes were butted up against each other, but there were still a few places where the frame was open. So I cut some small pieces of metal to cap them off and welded them in place. With the first bag done, I had to rethink my original plan for the design a bit, since I kind of underestimated the amount of time all of this would take. 
So I made some simplifications and carried on making the rest of the frame. After several days of welding and grinding and welding and grinding, I was so happy to be done with the frames. But then I came back the following morning and they still looked a little plain to me. So I took a deep breath and picked up the welder once again. I decided to add an armrest to each of the benches and I have to say I'm really happy that I did because it looks a lot better now. I cleaned the frames with brake cleaner to get any grease and dust off of them. Then I painted them with matte black spray paint. This worked great for all of those little nooks and crannies. Although I did have to come back several times because I found a spot that I missed. All this time I'd been debating in my mind what type of wood I wanted to use for the seats. I wanted something that wasn't too light but not too dark either. <laughs> and in the end I settled on beach. I cut the boards to width on the table saw. And then to length on the chop saw. Then I ran them through the planer a couple times to get them nice and smooth. I wanted the seats to still look like individual boards, so I ran a router over the edges to give them a bit of an angle. Then I glued them together and let them dry in the clamps. I also wanted to add a few wooden accent pieces, so I made some small plugs that I could push into the open tubing. I rounded over the edges with a router to make it match the tubing. I then started cutting white dados into it, on all four sides, so that it could easily fit inside the tubing. Finally, I chopped them into individual pieces. I saved that part for last because small pieces like that would be pretty impossible to handle on any sort of power tool. I removed the excess glue from the seats and sanded them. I used several coats of a water-based lacquer to finish the wood. I hammered the plugs into the open tubes to create feet and some top accents. Then I got started on drilling holes in the frame to attach the seats. But I couldn't. I think what happened is that all the welding and grinding actually work hard into steel. I tried drilling through a scrap piece that hadn't been subjected to all of that, and I could drill through it just fine. So, I needed a new plan. 
I decided on making some little tabs with holes in them that I could then weld onto the frame. So I first drilled the holes <laughs> and then cut the tabs, removed some spray paint from the frame and went in for another round of welding. Then a bit more grinding, a bit more paint and I can finally attach the seats. I use screws that are a bit smaller than the holes I drilled, so the wood can move around a bit with the seasons. And that's it! <laughs> Whew. This was a big project, but I really love the result. Building these benches was a great chance for me to practice and improve my welding skills. No matter how good or bad you are when you start, after doing this many welds, you're bound to get better. I also really enjoyed working with raw lumber again, and seeing that some of that knowledge from the giant picnic table has stuck around. But of course I gravely underestimated the amount of time that this would take. And I still have to make the matching table. <laughs> but I do love diving in at the deep end and taking on ambitious projects, even if that means I won't have a new video every week. I think it's worth it, and I hope you agree. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.